हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 683 द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द फोर्स इन मेंबर एफ डी एंड डी बी ऑफ द फ्रेम सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द फोर्स इन दिस एफ डी मेंबर एंड दिस डी बी मेंबर ऑफ दिस गिवन फ्रेम एंड इट इज सेड दैट आल्सो फाइंड द हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द रिएक्शन द पिन एट सी एग्जर्ट्स ऑन मेंबर ए बी सी and member edc so since it is the problem related to the frames and machines so what we normally do to solve such kind of problem is that we consider the individual member of the whole frame so what we do is that we disassemble the frame we consider the disassemble frame and then we consider the individual member for our analysis so to start this problem solution first what we will do is that we will consider the gfe member only so let me isolate the gfe member so now if this gfe member is considered so 6 kN force is applied at this point g and this 6 kN force will compress this fd member right so uh, as a reaction this fd member will apply the force on this gfe member in this direction that is in the upward direction if i represent that force so we will have the force in this direction so this is the force applied by fd member on this gfe member and similarly let's assume that at point e we have two reactions we have let's say ex reaction and we have ey reaction which is acting vertically downward this is ey so now if we consider member the free body diagram of member gfe and if we apply the summation of moment about point e equals to 0 and if we consider that the counter clockwise moment is positive so to apply the summation of moment about point e we need to resolve this f f d force into its components so it is making some angle theta here with the horizontal so we need to resolve this so if we resolve this then this will be the cos component and this one will be the sin component and we can find this theta if we consider this fde triangle so we have that triangle like this so this this is that point f this is e and this is that point d so this fe length is 1 meter this is given and similarly this length is 2 meters and and we can find this hypotenuse so this hypotenuse will be 1 square plus 2 square so this will become 5 under the square root so the hypotenuse is 5 and uh, square root 5 and now this is that theta so from this triangle we can write that cos of theta is base so for this theta this is base so base divided by hypotenuse and similarly sin of theta is perpendicular so this is perpendicular and the hypotenuse is square root 5 So now if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to 0 so as we can see that this component is not going to produce the moment about this point E since its moment arm is 0 from that point E and secondly the line affection of this force is passing through that point E so it is not going to produce the moment about that point E so this component which is the sin component is going to produce the uh clockwise moment about that point E so i will write minus and this is f f d and this is the sin component so i will write that this is sin of theta and as we know that sin of theta is 2 divided by square root 5 so let me write 2 divided by square root 5 this is sin of theta and this 6 kN force is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point e so i will write plus 6 and the moment arm of this 6 kN force from that point e is 3 meters so i will multiply it with 3 and this is equal to 0 and if i bring this term to the other side of equation so we will have the equation like this this is minus 6 into 3 and similarly this minus sign will cancel out this will cancel out with that minus sign and if we cross multiply this so the fd member force is equal to we can say that this is 18 and then we need to cross multiply this is 1 so if we multiply then this is 8 into square root 5 divided by 2 this is 18 divided by 2 is 9 so let me write 9 square root 5 so this gives us 20.12 so fd 
Member four says how much this is twenty point one two kilonewton since this force is in kilonewton. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along the x-axis is equals to zero if this is my positive x and y direction. So as we can see that this e x is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write plus e x. And this this is the cost component of that F D force member. So I will write minus this is acting in the negative direction and this is F F D. So F F D is 20.12 and this is the cost component. So I will write cos of theta and cos of theta is 1 divided by square root 5 and this is equal to 0. And if I bring this to the other side of the equation, so this will be equal to E x. So E x is uh, we can find E x which is 20.12 divided by square root 5. So this gives me approximately 9 kilonewtons. So E x is approximately 9 kilonewtons. Similarly, if I apply the summation of forces along the y direction equals to 0. So as we can see that this E y is acting in the negative y direction. So I will write minus E y. And this is the sine component of FFD. So I will write plus and FFD is now 20.12 sine of theta and sine of theta is 2 divided by square root 5. And this 6 kilonewton is acting in the negative y direction. So I will write minus 6 and this is equal to 0. And if I bring this EY to the other side of the equation, so it would become positive. So we will have plus EY. So now we can find EY. So this is 20.12 into 2 divided by square root 5 minus 6. So this is approximately 12 kilonewtons. So Ey equals to plus 12 kilonewton. So now to find the force in this BD member, we have to consider this CDE member for our analysis. So if we consider the CDE member and as I have told you people that this FD member is in compression due to this 6 kilonewton force. So what it will do is that this FFD force will be acting towards this joint D if we consider this CDE member since again this is in compression. So if it is in compression, so this FFD is going to apply the same force in the opposite direction, right? So we will have that FFD force if we consider that C D E member and this E X and this E Y they are going to act in the opposite direction. So let me consider the free body diagram of this C D E. So this E X is going to act in the opposite direction. So this is that same E X and E Y is going to act in the upward direction. So this is E Y. And we know the magnitude of E X and E Y. So E x is 9 kilonewton and E y is 12 kilonewton that we have just determined. And at joint C again we will have two support reactions or two joint supports. So let's say uh, here I have let's say this is C x. Uh, this is C x let's say and let's say here we have C y. And Let's assume that this BD member is applying the force on this CDE member in this direction, that is in the upward direction. So this is the FBD force, let's say. This is FBD. So now if, if, if we consider that the free body diagram of member CDE, and if, if we resolve this FBD and this FFD force into its components, so again, uh, this FFD force will have two components. It will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction. And, and if this angle is theta, then this angle is also theta. So this one is the cos component and this one is the sine component. And similarly, I can resolve this FBD into its components or FDB into its components. Let me write that this is F D B since in the problem statement it is said that D B force, right? So F D B. 
So it will have two components. It will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction. And if we consider this angle, so if we consider this CDB triangle, so this length is one meter and this length is one meter. So this means that this angle is 45 and this is 90. If this is this is 45 and this angle is 45. So if this is 45, then this angle is 45. So then this component is the cos component of this FDB. So now if we uh, apply the summation of moment about point D, uh, the summation of moment at joint D equals to zero. And if we consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so as we know that uh, both of these forces are passing through that joint D, so they are not going to produce the moment about that point D. And this CY is passing through that point D as well, and this EY is passing through that point D, so they are not going to produce the moment about that point D. So only this CX and EX, they are going to produce the moment about that point D. So as we can see that this CX is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point D, so I will write plus CX and the moment arm of this CX from that point D is 1 meter. So I will multiply it with 1. And similarly, this EX is going to produce the counterclockwise moment as well. So I will write plus and EX magnitude is 9 kilonewton and its moment arm from that joint D is 2. So this is equal to 0. And if I bring this to the other side, so we will have minus and from this we can say that Cx is equal to minus 18 kilonewton. So the minus sign tells us that the assumed direction of Cx is not accurate, it is acting in the opposite direction. So Cx is acting from right to left. Similarly, if I apply the summation of the moment about point C equals to 0. And again, if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so now as we can see that uh, again, this this component and this component they are passing through that point C, so they are not going to produce the moment about that point C. This EY and this CY they are not going to produce the moment about that point C as well. So this one is this component and this component they are producing the moment about that point C, and we can say that this is F F B cause of theta component and this is FDB uh, cause of 45 degree. So as we can see that uh, this FDB cause component is producing the clockwise moment about this point C. So I will write FDB and this is cause of 45 and the moment arm of this component from that point C is 1. So I will multiply it with 1. And similarly, this FFD cos of theta component is producing the clockwise moment uh, as well. This is producing the clockwise moment, so we have to write minus. This is minus. And this is producing the clockwise moment, so I will write minus FFD. So FFD is 20.12. So 20.12 cos of theta. And cos of theta is 1 divided by square root 5. So I will write 1 divided by square root 5. And the moment arm is 1 again, so I will multiply it with 1. And similarly, this EX is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point C. So I will write plus EX magnitude is 9 and the moment arm of this 9 kilonewton force from that point C is 3. So I will multiply it with 3 and this is equal to 0. So first of all, if I bring these two terms to the other side, so they will become positive. So their sign will become opposite. So this will become negative. And we can find this sum. This is 20.12 divided by square root 5 minus 9 into 3. So this is minus 18. And if we divide this answer, this is equal to minus 18. And now if I divide both sides by minus cos of 45, so we will be able to find db force, db member force. So that is minus 18 divided by minus cos of 45. So I will divide this answer by minus cos of 45. So this gives me 25.46. So F db is 25.46. 4, 6 kilonewton. 
And similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this C y is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write plus C y and this sine component of F d b is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write plus F d b is 25.46 and this is the sine component. So, sine of 45 degrees and this is the sine component of F d. So, F d is and it is acting in the downward direction. So, we have to write minus and this is F f d is 20.12 and this is the sine component. So, sine of theta is 2 divided by square root 5 and this E y is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write plus 12 kilo Newton and this is equal to 0. So, this will give us C y the reaction force that is applied on this C d e member. So, this is 25.46 sine of 45 degrees minus 20.12 into 2 divided by square root 5 plus 12. So, this gives me C y plus 12 equals to 0 or we can say that C y equals to minus 12 kilo Newton. So, now from this we can conclude that C x magnitude is 18 kilo Newton and it is acting in this direction. Let me represent that actual direction. So, C x is acting in this direction on this C d e member and its magnitude is 18 kilo Newton and this C y is acting in the downward direction and its magnitude is 12 kilo Newton. Now, in the problem statement it is also said that uh, find the horizontal and vertical components of the reactions the pin at C exerts on member A, B, C. So, we have determined the reaction and the pin uh, C applies on C, D, E or E, D, C member. So, this A, B, C will have the same C, X and C, Y reaction supports, but they will be acting in the opposite direction. So, if we consider this A, B, C member, so we will have that C, Y, let us say uh, for member A, B, C, we will have that same C, X and C, Y, but they will be acting in the opposite direction. So, let us say that for A, B, C, let us say C, X is C, X dash and that C, X, X dash magnitude will be equal to C, X and that is 18 kilo Newton, but the direction it will be in the opposite direction. So, the the force that is applied by that pin at C on this ABC member will be acting from left to right. So, let me represent that direction here. So, for member ABC, this CX dash is going to act from left to right and similarly, CY dash will be equal to that 12 kilo Newton and it is going to act in the upward direction on this E, B, C member. So, let me represent that direction. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. If it helps in your learning, kindly subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Statics.